let's solve and inequalities. So these are inequalities combined by an intersection. And so there's a couple of things to keep in mind here. We're going to start by specifying that we have two inequalities, minus 2x minus 5 is greater than 1, and 4x plus 2 is less than 16. And so we have two, and we're asked to solve these, and the best way to do this is to do them both separately. So we're going to start by just solving this one, add 5 to both sides, get minus 2x is bigger than 6, divide by a minus 2, when we divide by a negative 2, because it's an inequality, the inequality changes, and we get x is less than minus 3. For our other example, we're going to subtract 2 from both sides, get 4x is less than 14, we're then going to divide by 4, reduce our fractions as far as we're able, and get x is less than 7 halves, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to graph these. And so the first one starts at negative 3 and goes towards the less than arrow. The second one starts at 7 halves, which is just between 3 and 4, and also goes towards the negative arrow. And what I want to know is what region has both shaded. So I'm going to shade it in purple. So that's my answer which means my interval an notation answer is minus infinity to minus 3. And so if they're both pointing in the same direction, then you take the more restricted of the two. So if it's a less than, you take the smaller. If it's greater than, you take the bigger. But this is how we solve an AND problem. Take the two, solve them separately, and combine the results. Now sometimes, though, we get a little bit luckier than that. Remember when we talked about A is less than B? and so that a is less than x is less than b. Sometimes if our piece in the middle is the same, we can solve this all at once. We can solve what has apparently three sides. So suppose that we start with 0 is less than minus 2x plus 6 and minus 2x plus 6 is strictly less than 14. Now notice that these pieces are the same. That means we can save some time and just write that it once with the pieces on the outside. But this only works if A is less than B. And the piece in between is the same. But now, what we do to one side, we do to all sides. So we end up with minus 6 is less than or equal to minus 2x, which is less than 8. We divide all three sides by minus 2. And because I'm dividing all three sides, we switch around all of our inequalities to be greater than, so we get the x by itself, minus 4 on this side, and 3 on this side. Now, we don't like the look of this. It goes from biggest to smallest. We want it to be smallest to biggest. So if we reverse the order, then x is still bigger than minus 4, but it's still smaller than 3. And now, rather than having to go through all the pain of graphing both of these and seeing what's in common, we just read from left to right. We have a parenthesis minus 4, comma, 3, square bracket. So that's how we solve an AND problem, either by solving the two separately or by finding what they have in common and solving a single AND inequality. Notice our answers are in interval notation. And you may be asked to graph this as well. So here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, parenthesis at minus 4, square bracket at 3, and we shade between them.